Hello, and welcome to a special video presentation on establishing paternity. This video is designed to help unmarried parents make an important decision regarding the legal fatherhood of their new child. A child born to unwed parents does not have a legal father. Therefore, the father's name cannot be put on the birth certificate unless both he and the mother sign a paternity acknowledgement form. In this video, we'll explain what paternity is, describe the benefits of paternity for your child, show you how easy it is to establish paternity, and what to do if you're still not sure. The good news is that acknowledging paternity is very easy to do, as you will discover in the next few minutes. Are you going to go home? In one minute, my biggest worry was what I was going to do on Saturday night. And then, uh, and then my girlfriend has a baby, and I got all this pressure on me. My sister had a kid and moved in with my mom for help, but I don't want to rely on her to raise my child for me. Well, I just never got around to signing a paternity form. And now because of that, I don't even have the legal right to visit my own son. Not having a father, I always felt like there was a part of me missing or something. I mean, I had my mom, my sisters, my friends and stuff, but I really miss knowing my father and having him around for me. I'll make sure that doesn't happen with my son. Meet Mark, Janet, and Brian. Like most new parents, they all face the same confusing mixture of joy, fear, and uncertainty that comes with the birth of a new baby. As unmarried parents, they also face the critical question, how do they protect their baby's future? Well, one of the most important decisions that unwed parents can make is to voluntarily establish their child's paternity, ideally right at birth in the hospital. This action alone will help to ensure that children of unwed parents receive the same kind of support and opportunities afforded children of married parents. Paternity is the same thing as legal fatherhood. Establishing paternity or legal fatherhood is the process of establishing a legal relationship between a father and his child. When a child is born to married parents, both the father's and mother's names are automatically entered on the child's birth certificate. But in cases where parents are not married, only the mother's name is added to the child's birth certificate until the man has established legal fatherhood or paternity. The easiest way to do this is for both parents to voluntarily sign a paternity acknowledgement form right at the hospital. When Stephanie was born, I was living with my boyfriend, so I just assumed that since we lived together that he would automatically be considered the father. But the truth is, when you have a baby and you're not married, the man is not considered the legal parent, even if you live together. Mark faced a similar problem. He became a father at the age of 19 with his girlfriend at the time. At 26, he's in danger of never seeing his seven-year-old son again. Yeah, I mean, we were planning on getting married, but, uh, but I lost my job and, uh, you know, things just fell apart. We broke up. And because I didn't establish paternity then, now I gotta go to court and get the right to see my own son. As unmarried parents, both Mark and Janet would have benefited by signing the voluntary paternity acknowledgement form. Why? Because signing the form creates a parent-child relationship between the father and child. What this does is grant the child the same rights as a child born within a marriage. Voluntarily acknowledging paternity is fast, easy, and free, and you don't have to go to court. The benefits are numerous for both parents as well as the child. When you're young, you don't think about things like medical coverage or social security benefits. But I saw what happened when my mom raised me. I want to make sure my son is protected. Brian is one of thousands of fathers all across the country who voluntarily acknowledge paternity each year. But just how does acknowledging paternity protect your child? Consider these examples. My son needed a bone marrow transplant when he was only a year old. And uh, my boyfriend and I, we never got married, but because we signed the paternity form, the doctor was able to get the information from Dave, my ex-boyfriend, on his medical history. Turned out Dave could be the donor, and that saved my son's life. Even though my mom and I aren't together anymore, I still try uh, to see my daughter Amy as much as I can. 
her mom recently lost her job, lost her medical insurance. Um, and she was really worried because Amy has asthma. She needs a lot of medical care. But since I'd signed the paternity form, that made me legally the father. So we were able to get Amy covered under my medical insurance. It's not something that you think about when your baby's first born, but now I'm so glad that I signed it. Five years after we broke up, my boyfriend was killed. Because he signed a paternity form, our daughter was entitled to his Social Security benefits. And she inherited some money, too. Well, let's face it, no one can predict the future. But doesn't it make sense to protect your child now? Acknowledging paternity means that a child can receive child support and become eligible for coverage under his father's medical insurance for Social Security benefits, inheritance rights, and access to medical records. These things may not matter to you now, but they can make a big difference in your child's future. And we're not just talking about the legal rights and benefits. There's also the emotional rewards. It was important to me that my son know who his father is and that Brian's name was on the birth certificate. Paternity form did that. It was easy, quick, and didn't cost us anything. I grew up without a dad, so I've had some experience in that area. Making sure my son is protected and supported is the most important thing to me. It's a great feeling to look at my son and know that that's my son. He's a part of me. There's no feeling like it. The bottom line is that by acknowledging paternity, everyone wins. The father gets the reassurance that he is the legal father with all the associated rights. For the mother, she knows that there will be someone there to share in the financial and emotional support needed to raise a child. And the child enjoys the benefits of having both parents, sharing in the joy and responsibility of raising a healthy and happy child. Now you've seen the benefits, we'll take a look at how the process of establishing paternity actually works. You will be given the paternity form in the hospital. All hospitals are legally required to offer unwed parents the opportunity to sign a paternity acknowledgement at the time of their child's birth. You will be presented with oral and written informational materials and a voluntary paternity acknowledgement form. When both parents sign the form, paternity is legally established, but in order for it to be valid, both parents need to sign. At this time, the man will also need to show proof of his identity. Then, the form will be notarized or witnessed by another person, such as a hospital representative. So much. Later, the hospital Thank staff you. will process Thank the form with the state vital Thank records you. office to make sure the father's name appears on the child's birth certificate. Once the form is signed, either parent has up to 60 days to withdraw the acknowledgement. This is done by submitting a signed rescission form to the state vital records office. After the rescission form is filed, the man is no longer considered the legal father. But keep in mind that if either parent changes their mind after the 60 days are up, they would find it very difficult to convince the court to overturn the paternity acknowledgement. At that stage, it's pretty final. Everyone was telling us what to do, how to prepare for the baby, telling us we're too young, you got to get married, all this stuff. Signing the paternity form was the first thing we did that was actually easy. We both signed the forms and we protected both of our rights as parents until our kid turns 18. Now that you know how the process works, you may still have questions about whether establishing paternity is the right choice for you. Here are a couple things to consider. First, signing the voluntary paternity acknowledgement form does not automatically guarantee visitation rights, custody, or child support. For each of these, a separate agreement or court action is required. For most parents, these rights and responsibilities can be agreed upon without going to court. After all, the child is going to need the support and involvement of both parents for the support and nurturing he or she requires. But remember that by signing the paternity acknowledgement, you create the legal basis for establishing these rights and responsibilities. That is why if either the mother or man is not entirely sure who the biological father is, they should not sign the paternity papers. Instead, you might want to consider having a genetic test to prove whether or not the man is the biological father. Genetic tests are a common practice performed in one of two ways. Either with a painless Q-tip-like swab inside the mouth of the mom, the dad, and child, or through a small sample of blood drawn from all three. Unwed parents who are interested in genetic testing should contact their local child support enforcement agency for further information. If you're still not ready to voluntarily acknowledge paternity, the option will always be there up until your child turns 18. There are several agencies that can help you with paternity establishment. You can contact your local child support office or office of vital statistics. 
Of course, if you are receiving or will be applying for public assistance, you will be expected to cooperate with government officials in identifying your child's father and establishing legal paternity. Well, we're not married and we don't have any plans on getting married. But my son's always going to know I'm there for him. Signing that paternity form lets my son know that his daddy loves him and I'm always going to be there for him. As you make your own decision regarding paternity, consider these important points covered in the video. First, fathers make a difference. Second, every child deserves a mother and a father. Third, acknowledging paternity is fast, easy, and free. And finally, by acknowledging paternity, you establish your legal right to share in the joys and responsibilities of parenthood. Acknowledging paternity today will give your child the complete benefits of having both parents, now and in the future. That's the power of two, and it could be the greatest gift you give your child.